back to my brand new tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to recreate this scene from Kalki 2898 AD. So let's get started. Here is the background video, which I recorded it from phone. I have added some adjustment layers on the top to increase the brightness in some areas. Using curves and lumetric colors, I have color graded the video. Also I added some grain and camera lens blur effect to make the background blur. Now drag this BG to new composition and rename it to tutorial. Now select the layer, go to tracker and select track motion. Now place this tracker point on the hand. Then click on track forward. It will take some time according to your PC configuration. Once it's done, create a new null object. Now go to edit target, then select your null, then click on apply. Now this null will follow your hand movement. Now create a new solid layer and apply element 3D. For the wheel I am using this turbine 3D model from Sketchfab, link is in the description. Download the blend file and using blender you can convert blend file to obj format. Now import this 3d model here. You will get this black because in this laptop I don't have any graphics card. So to fix this, go to reflect mode and click on disable environment. Now apply some metal materials from pro shader 2 pack. Now in group 1 increase the scale and in rotation adjust the rotation x, y and z values to align this wheel on the top of the hand. Now for the hologram effect I am using this free hologram script from production credit website. So once you downloaded, just paste your script in the After Effects script location. Now to apply the hologram effect, go to File, Scripts, then click on Production Create Hologram. I am using the first one. Now just click plus icon to apply this effect. Now go to the Scan Lines. And here you can set the scan lines width, feather and amount according to your video. Go to projection rays. Then drag this anchor point down. Then adjust opacity and ray sharpness according to your video. You can set the hologram color here. By default it is set to screen, change it to normal. Now apply shift channel, then change alpha to green. Then apply remove color matting. And add some glow effect and adjust glow spread and intensity. Now parent the hologram to the null. 
you can adjust the ray sharpness and scan lens width angle according to your video. Now rename this layer. Now go to here and copy the element layer and paste it here. Now go to scene setup, then disable the outer ring, then click on OK. For the other wheel, disable the inner ring, then click on OK. Now we have separate layers. Now again apply the hologram effect. Copy the effect and paste it here. Now rename this layer. Copy other effects and paste here. Now duplicate the glow effect and change the color to orange. Create a new text layer and type some random text. Now change the color to green. Now make the layer 3D and adjust the rotation and position and align it with the wheel. Don't forget to link all layers to the null. Then click on animate and add change in offset. Press alt and click this stopwatch then type figure 4, 30. This will generate random characters per frames. Now again apply hologram effect for this text you can turn off the projection rays. To change the position of the text go to hologram, hologram effects, hologram footage here we can change the position to align properly with the wheel. Now you can repeat the same steps for another text layer and place this on the side of the wheel. Add Gaussian blur effect on the text layer to make the text blur. Now for the other text, just change the expression to wiggle 3, 40. So after some final color grading, here is the final video.